Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Welcome. Matthias, good to be here. Thank you for so much for making the time. Welcome to Ukraine. It's First of all, well, one year of this terrible war. And of course, it's a very strong signal that, uh, that how you support, how you help to Ukraine. And uh, I think that uh, really just during this terrible war, our fightings, uh, Ukraine demonstrated uh, that we are continue all reforms which started by President Zelensky. And you can uh, personally, during meeting with him, to listen and to, to exchange of the thoughts about our perspectives. I'd like to say thank you very much uh, for your help and your personal support uh, that Ukraine started being members of uh, working group of OSAD, especially of the sector uh, to fightings of bribery. And of course, we are looking uh, in the future for the uh, full participants, Ukraine, in your organization. And uh, of course, for us, it's important. I think that uh, we are, can do it in very short period of time. And of course, it's because uh, we are still concentrated and this is a priority for Ukraine to go by the way of the, of the reforms. And of course, once again, it's your personal involvement and your personal help that it's, that it's happened. And of course, I, I'd like to start it uh, to deliver to you the letter from our Prime Minister about the confirmation of uh, our membership in the working group. Oh, Thank you very much. Uh, we, we are here um, you know, full of admiration of um, the, the strength, the courage, the resilience of the people of Ukraine. and. Uh, the way the uh, democratically elected government of Ukraine has led uh, Ukraine uh, through this period. Um, Ukraine was very much on the right path. You were committed to reforms, uh, you were uh, building uh, a better, stronger, more modern country. Uh, and, um, you know, Russia's uh, war of aggression, uh, unprovoked, unjustifiable, illegal war of aggression, hasn't actually stopped your commitment uh, to continue to build a better, a stronger, a more modern country. And, um, you know, we are devastated. We grieve with you for the loss of loved ones. Uh, I'm absolutely horrified to witness and to see the reckless destruction of um, homes and infrastructure. But by the same token, uh, to see um, your uh, commitment to rebuild, not down the track, but now. I mean, I was in Irpin this morning, as you would know, and, and to see the bridge being rebuilt is, is just fantastic. We are here to help. I mean, you know the OECD has had a, a strong uh, relationship with Ukraine for some time, uh, but we have sought uh, to further broaden, deepen and strengthen it in, in the wake of what's happened over the last year. I'm here as a clear uh, and deliberate sign of solidarity and support. Uh, you might know that on the day the invasion started, uh, the OECD Council met that day and we condemned Russia's actions on that day and we expressed our very strong solidarity and support with Ukraine on that first day. We also have um, recognised Ukraine as a prospective member of the OECD. Uh, we are support as you, to support you as you're fighting for your freedom uh, and for democracy. We will certainly do. Uh, about the realization of the peaceful plan of our presidents of course great of course it's help us but most important what will be happened if you are close your office in moscow and uh, i think it's absolutely uh, not and it's uh, the the war uh, but thank you uh, organization the peaceful summit it's mean that especially country who is now natural or no, not participated and uh, uh, we uh, have the military cabinet i very shortly inform you that still about the numbers and you know it's mac it's uh, um, probably uh, which will essentially be the vehicle through which we will uh, manage the initial accession dialogue so i mean 